A happy new year to one and all. What will 2023 bring for Sumo? Six titles for me, I hope, says Takayasu. And you heard that correctly. The November runner up views 2022 as the year which firmed up his belief he can regularly conquer the very best. An Ozeki return is firmly in my mind, and I haven't ruled out Yokozuna, he says. I might be almost 33, but I can still aim higher. Should Yasu win just the one cup, that'd be welcomed. But the vow to shoot for all six has deeper meaning. It's a feat only reached by this man here. In the first year, Takayasu wrestled. Hence, the Yasu dream ever since. Theoretically wanting Ozeki back, though don't hold your breath was the joke he made, is Sekiwake Shodai. I want those 10 wins, he said of the re-promotion challenge, but best not to obsess, lest I tense up again. He went 6-2 in training today, January 4th, against 19-year-old Yoshi. The highest-ranked stablemate left next to him post Yutakayama's departure. It's a brave decision to suddenly quit, Shodai said of his former sparring partner. And I only hope Yutaka has no regrets. Let me stress right now, though, I do not intend to follow suit. As Yutakayama sheds kilo after kilo in a bid to run the 2024 Tokyo Marathon, Shodai's entourage decreases still. His assistant coach, Izutsu, has, of today, quit Sumo 2 in order to work in television under his former ring name of Toyonoshima. He claims the offers have flooded in ever since he walked from the ring and he simply couldn't resist. Skeptics, though, note that Shimanoumi, next in line for the Izutsu stock, had an awful last year and has just met the conditions to coach, this tournament being his 30th in the salaried ranks. At least this way, Toyonoshima gets a sumo payoff. Elsewhere, Ichino Jo has said sorry to fans for his recent suspension. I apologize for letting you down and will thoroughly reassess what I should be doing, he said after training last week. He's still fighting 20 bouts a day, by the way. I'm fitting all my practice around my bad back and things are going okay, he continued. The title glitter from last July has long gone, now to rebuild my career again. Also nursing back pain is Meisei, who's brushed off his dreadful 2022 spring to post four successive winning scores. I didn't think I'd regain Komusubi so quickly, he said of his January rank after 14 wins from 15 in practice. I'm back here because I believed in myself, he added. I want to show real mental strength this year, as I've learned perseverance keeps bringing rewards. His colleague Horshord Yu, meanwhile, has vowed to contend for Ozeki. Lots of you will be glued to my progress this year, he said to his burgeoning army of fans, and I want to repay you by making Ozeki mine. Six more kilos gained since August take his fighting weight to 146. Asa Shoryu's weight at his sumo peak. That's enough poundage for me, said the nephew. There's a real thickness and solidity to me right now. His complete set of winning scores last year was grudgingly noted by high school rival Orhall who is now determined to emulate. I want six winning scores this year, 
he said, after pounding his brothers in practice last week. 19 wins and just the one defeat. I've gone right through December, both tour and training, in the same good condition as November, he said, as he mentally prepares for his highest rank yet. And his high school teammate, Kotono Waka, now up to Komusubi, has repeated his belief that he can match any foe in the upper ranks. Ozeki is in his sights too, achievement of which will trigger a name change to Kotozakuda, in homage to his Yokozuna grandfather. His family has just become the first to produce three generations of elite Sanyaku ranked men, but Ohos should well be the second. And Wakamoto Haru's Komusubi Rise sees him and Wakatakakage become the fourth Sanyaku sibling pair. It still doesn't seem real, he claims. I got here by fighting each bout as if my life depended on it. Obviously that will continue. And I want to hold this Sanyaku birth by defending against relentless attacks and still winning from unfavorable positions. I always think my latest high rank must be my peak. And yet. I'd say he's surely one to watch. Defending champ Abi has fought to keep feet on ground amid euphoric cheers around him. Nothing has changed post cup win, he said, when the rankings chart came out. My motto is simply, always focus on the bout at hand. A target of mine is to deliver my ideal initial charge. My encroachment is still not there. He still views Ozeki as a faraway place, but claims he at last sees a path there. Asanoyama, who should never have lost Ozeki, is wearing a white training sash again after re-promotion to Division 2. I've been congratulated on coming back here, but inside I'm hungry for far more, he said. So I'll be training hard to evoke real passion in the hearts of fans. And at nearly 29, I cannot stand around. So let's try to kick this year off with the second tier crown. Asa lamented the fact he can no longer fight his uni rival, Yutakayama. Finally! Yokozuna contender Takakesho went 8-2 against colleague Takanosho this morning. I thought of different tactics while fighting each bout, as I can't expect just to blast everyone out at the highest level, he explained to the press. I must get used to all types of fight patterns. Now it's a case of relaxing the nerves and getting things done. He insists the demotions of Shodai and Mitake Umi and expected absence of Teruno Fuji place no added pressure on his oft-injured frame. I'm always in it to win it, no matter how many top rankers there are, he points out. I'm calculating backwards from day one right now and the condition I need to be in. Let's hope at least Keisho completes 15 days of a Yokozuna run. On the last two occasions, he didn't.